El Cedron is a karst cave located in the Asturias region of northern Spain. This cave system stretches into the adjacent hillside at a length of approximately 2.5 miles or 3.7 kilometers with a large central hall approximately 650 feet or 200 meters long. In this cave, the skeletal remains of a group of 13 Neanderthals were discovered. Through dental investigations, it was suggested that the individuals identified at El Cidron include seven adults, three adolescents between 12 and 15 years of age, two juveniles between 5 and 9 years of age, and one infant. All of the human remains found at the site were recovered within a single deposit called Stratum 3 and analysis of mitochondrial DNA supports the hypothesis that the 13 individuals represent a family group, although some scientists do not agree. The part of the cave containing Neanderthal fossils is called the Ossuary Gallery. The Ossuary Gallery, also known as Galeria de Osario, in Spanish is a small lateral gallery discovered in 1994 by cave explorers who stumbled across human remains and named it assuming it was a deliberate burial. At first, the bones were believed to date to the Spanish Civil War. Back then, Republican fighters used the cave as a hideout. The police discovered more bone fragments in El Cidron, which they sent to forensic scientists who determined that the bones did not belong to soldiers or even to modern humans. They were the remains of Neanderthals who died 50,000 years ago. Looking at the bones can be a bit unsettling, and not just because they're remnants of an extinct species of an archaic human, but because these Neanderthal bone fragments belonged to individuals who were the victims of cannibalism. The discovery wasn't a huge surprise. Asturias is, after all, a region rich with hints of Neanderthal's presence. The surprise was seeing the bones scarred with slice marks possibly caused by someone butchering the corpses and the longer bones were cracked open, likely so an eater could access the marrow and there were no carnivore tooth markings which indicated that the Neanderthals were almost certainly killed and cannibalized by another Neanderthal group, not by animal scavengers. What motivated the cannibalism is unknown, though anthropologists and archaeologists have proposed two theories. Some believe malnourished members of the group ate their peers in some sort of ritualized consumption brought on by the Ice Age extreme environmental conditions. An alternative hypothesis is that they were murdered and devoured by a rival group during a period of war or because of starvation from a lack of game to hunt. Preservation of the bones is excellent. The bones show very limited trampling or erosion. However, some scientists believe that the bones and stone tools in the ossuary gallery are not in their original location. Geological analysis of the soils in that area suggests that the bones fell into the cave through a vertical shaft in a massive water-driven deposit, probably resulting from a flood event after a thunderstorm. Whatever the case may be, though, over 2,500 Neanderthal fossil remains were recovered during the excavations, making El Cidron one of the largest collections of Neanderthal fossils in Europe to date. You can find the Neanderthal bones next to a life-sized model of a Neanderthal on the second floor of the Archaeological Museum of Oviedo. And with that, we have come to the end of the video. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed the video. For more videos like these, check our channel out and please do not forget to support us by liking our videos and subscribing to the channel. Till then, this is Halabella and see you soon in our next video.